Hello there, it's Sandy Alnock with more in the 24 Tags of Christmas for 2020. Multicolor ink tags is what I'm going to make today. I have two different stamp sets. I'm going to show you one from each set. And I've chosen something with several words in it. And I'm going to stamp it first in a very light color. This is the No Line ink, but you can use any kind of like really pale, pale yellow, pale gray, whatever you want that you can see something, but it's going to be lighter colors than the ones you want to end up with. So I'm going to use st some sticky notes now that I can see where to mask off to block off the areas that I don't want to show. And I'm using my Catherine Pooler inks for this. I'm going to do both of my reds at the same time. So I'm kind of choosing strategically where I want my red in my multicolor sentiment and stamping both of those parts, clean it off, and then go to whatever the next word is that you're going to use. You can do this with images somewhat. I did a video recently, well, recently, a couple weeks back with a similar kind of technique, making a sled that I masked off different parts for. But you can do this with anything that you can use sticky notes to go around whatever the part is that you want to add. So I'm just going to keep changing my inks in between each one, cleaning the stamp, and just using scraps of sticky notes to do the masking. And you could, if you wanted, certainly stamp the whole thing onto the sticky notes and then trim those out and everything. It's a whole lot easier to just tear them up and use little scrappy bits in order to cover up the parts that you aren't, want, aren't able to see. And here I've got a little row of graphics in here that I want to get the last little bit done. And I'm going to stamp that and this one will be all finished. I'm going to be doing two from this stamp set and two from a different stamp set. So I'm not going to show you all of it, but I will show you this other one. This is from last year. I fell in love with this stamp set. I used it on a whole lot of my cards this year with all different kinds of pictures on them, but using it for the sentiment because I love the retro font and just the way it's laid out. They're really fun. And I'm going to block off, just like I did last time, the words that are already or that I'm not going to color with whatever the color is that I'm starting with and then just move the sticky notes around and you can reuse these sticky notes over and over again and tear them up into little bits so they cover up the parts that you don't want to be showing. And so these are going to be really fun tags to make because they're going to have that multicolor look to them but they're stamped with ink. Now you could also do this using say some water-based markers. I've done that before and you just color each word. You do have to be really careful with it though and I find that sometimes the water-based marker ends up with the paper being kind of sticky because the water-based marker doesn't stay wet for long enough. Ink works a little bit better for this especially when you're doing it multiple words all these little tiny things this seemed to be a better way to do it. A little crazy on the masking, but it was doable. So there you go. I've got my four tags done. I've cut them out with some of the new tiny tags, or not tiny tags, tag trio, I think is what it's called. And there's three different tags. I'm using two of them for this one. And for my inking, I'm going to use my Ellen Hudson uh, metallic craft assistant is what this thing is called. It's just something really easy to clean. And I've used some washi tape to block off an area. And I'm not even going to use my brushes. You know, those little inking brushes? I am really terrible at them anyway. So I just tapped the ink on. And as it dries, it starts to smooth out a little bit. And then I'm going to tape off another area so I can have a strip of a different color. And I'm coordinating with the colors that I used for stamping the inks. Which is kind of fun. So... Just going to make myself little graphical designs on each one of these using some simple washi tape and ink. And again, these are just like the ones that I talked about the other day that you can color coordinate with whatever the paper is that you're wrapping your gifts with. These would be particularly cute on craft paper. And sometimes I like to use craft paper and just make the pop of color be on the tag itself that I'm going to be making. So... Next up, for each one of my tags, 
making my stripe in different widths. You can see I just kind of played around with them and the large area at the bottom with color in it. And then I use my white pen because I'm a white pen fanatic and I just started doing some doodles, some polka dots, some stripes. You can make all different kinds of patterns with them. And I'm not even worrying about using a ruler to make anything straight. I'm just letting them be wiggly lines because it's a tag. And for the most part, my family throws away the tags and that's just the way it's going to be. Still looks really fun and really festive. So be sure to leave a comment in the doobly-doo down here in the comments as well as over on the blog because I'm giving these away along with the tags all week long. So I will see you again tomorrow with another video with more tags in it. Take care and have a good day. Bye-bye.